Hey guys, this is Lori5492 here, or Lauren if you prefer, and right now, here I have for you is the Spanish homework that I've decided to do. Now our Spanish homework was to create a Spanish city, so I've done that on Minecraft. I thought it would be a little different, you know, just to set me apart from all the rest, but it took me ages to make it because I didn't have world edit or anything so I had to place every block every single block by hand well I've been c counting the hours that I've that's taken to build this and all together over a nine day period 27 hours was put into this that's that's a massive amount I, I never knew I game I play games that much well Let's go in. First of all, we have this little wall thing. It, it took quite a long time to build this. So yeah, um, this is the bowling alley. La Bolera. I'll show you how it works towards the end of the video, so I can show you the more simpler things. Um, this is just a house, una casa, and you know, a pretty standard house. Quite cool. But this also, I can't get out the door, this also counts as a bakery because along the side, as you can see it says La Panadera and Una Pastele Pasteleria. Probably, probably pronounced those wrong, please correct me if I did. And in the chest, if you haven't noticed already, there's bread and it just happens to spell out die. Don't, don't judge me. And this one has cake in it because also it's a pastries as well. And doesn't really spell anything particular. Just thought might as well put it everywhere. And there are furnaces and cake. So yeah, that's the bakery. And these are houses, just standard houses, nothing here. Una casa and una casa number two. But there's something special about this house. I mean, yeah, sure, it's pretty standard, but in these houses, you have a really nice view of the other person's house. <laughs> Nothing stays secret in Grantis, I can tell you that. So yeah, those are the houses. This, this is a well. And if you haven't noticed already, behind me is a giant statue of Dumbledore. Now this this didn't take long to build because it's quite easy actually. If I just circle around there, you can see there's a moat. I did actually try try putting lava around it, but it ended up burning the fence down. So yeah, <coughs> I'm burning half a Dumbledore down, but that's Dumbledore, as it says on the sign. Well, here we have Un Carniceria, which is a butchers you know it's also got a sign by there now outside is where all the butchering takes place and this is a fireplace but I didn't actually want to set fire to it because I don't know how to disable fire spread so it would have burnt this whole house down so yeah that's why I haven't lit it May maybe I'll light it later and have the house burn down but yeah inside pretty standard house again all of these houses are pretty standard and there's like a bed and some tables and stuff. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the butchers. Un carniceria, as it says on the sign. Well, these are some other standard houses. Una casa and una casa. This one's door is open, so I might as well check it out. Okay, I'm pretty standard. They're all the same, really. But they're pretty cool, so... Yeah. And this, this is the park, El Parque. Well, this is the first park. You'll come across the second part later. And I just jumped into the pond. But yeah, since... If you haven't already noticed, I've sort of set it in a medieval time period. Well, they wouldn't have fancy slides or swings. So I just thought... I jumped into the pond again. I just thought, hey, just 
do a simple little thing with a pond and a couple of trees. This isn't the, this isn't the only park though. There are other parks. And here is the library, Una Bilboteca. Teca. I can't I can't really pronounce Spanish. Too good. I just haven't got the accent right. But anyways, pretty awesome library. Since there's no one to tell you, you can't jump on the tables and stuff and be quiet. And there's a plant and another plant. Pretty nice plants. Just saying. Now here we have another well. There's nothing really down it. But I've got the names. It is Un po Pozo. Now I got that off that Google Translate thing. So it might not be accurate, but that's the first thing that came up. So I'll, I'll show you that later. Um, over here there are a load of cows and sheep and stuff. But this is the church, una iglesia, as you can see. Yeah, pretty awesome church, I guess. There are seats just like any church would have. This is the thing where the people from the church would read out, like this. And this is what it looks like. But this is, this is there's a little twist to this church. Of course, there's a bell up there, but... Every church needs to keep its donation somewhere. This donation just happens to be behind the cross. And, you know, all the donations are in the chests and stuff. Quite a lot of donations, actually. This town has been very good to us. And that was the church. Over here is the market. I'll show you how the market works. Well, this is how all their money is set out. So... Yeah, and this is the enchant table, and the way you use that is you put the sword in, and you take the levels, and it gives you sharpness too. Yay! So that's the market. Pretty cool, I guess. And there's another cow stalking me. So, yeah. Gotta go all the way over here. As you can see, there is another well. I've put these everywhere. And there's a little farm here. So that's cool. Right now it's growing wheat and potatoes and carrots. Um, This is sort of a theatre thing, since I can really do a cinema. So I did this instead. This is the stage where people perform. And yeah. Back in the olden days, this is where the poor people used to stand on the floor and they get soaked and stuff. But the rich people would be able to pay to go up here and see it. And it's a better view, as you can tell. There's also another staircase around there, but I can't be bothered to run all that way. <sighs> um, This is park number two. There's a little moat surrounding it. But as you can see, this is also the swimming pool because they wouldn't really have a proper swimming pool back then. They would usually bathe in streams and stuff. It's got gravel and sand in it. It's pretty cool. And this is like the little water fountain that it comes out from. Just the source block up there. And th this part's pretty nice and cosy. There are a couple of trees, benches, and stuff. And a chicken just laying eggs. So yeah. I'm gonna show you the bowling alley now. It is La Bolera. Now the bowling alley is pretty cool because it does involve some redstone and it isn't really medieval, but we'll go with it anyway. Now this is a villager and this is the booth for the bowling alley. What you have to do is you've got to go to the villager and you've got to say you want 11 emeralds 11 arrows for the for one emerald and what you've got to do you've got, got to put two arrows in the hopper then flick that lever as it says on the sign pretty clearly so I just press Q twice 
and the arrows go into the hopper. I flick, I flick the switch, and then the fence goes down, and I can go in. Now it looks like all the bowling shoes have been taken, but I guess I can give myself some little bowling boots there. Me and my bowling boots. Um, here's how the game sort of works. You press the button and it deposits a bowling ball or magnum cream and you've got to stand on this red thing and you've got to try and get the cream onto the pressure plates to try and knock the pins down. Now they're not they're not actually re retrievable the ma the magma cream things. So you're going to have to get a new bowling pin every time. And yeah, I'm doing quite good. Um I've already got most of the pins down on my second go. And on my third, and then I can move on to this one. The roof is quite big. It's quite a big place actually. Um yeah. But thing is these hoppers act as the li little rails, so if I were to go, oops, and just chuck it over there, it would disappear and that would lose me a point. The points are, however, less balls you take to get onto there, then you're the winner. Woo! So, yeah, you just keep on doing that. Oh, God damn it until you actually get it. So that's one down. That's the second one down. See if we can get the third. And the third one's down. Now as you can see the fence has gone back up which would normally have trapped us but that's why we put two arrows in the hopper because there's a little hole here you can flick the switch again and just come out of it and the villagers st just staring so yeah is Dumbledore again and yeah before I show you the awesome thing over there I will show you the forest now the forest is pretty cool because it's got a load of wolves and sheep and cows and stuff and in Spanish it is un bosque I'm not actually sure if that's how you pronounce it, because again, I've got it off Google Translate, but hey, anyway. And there are some pretty big trees, pretty small trees. It gets thicker as you go in, and there are cows and flowers and stuff. And yeah, there are one of those um, log circle things that kids use. It's quite nice if you would just want to sit down on it and stuff. Well over here, and it's pretty cool, is a random cave with a pig's head in it and two mushrooms. Those mushrooms are epic. And there are more trees. And as you can see over here there are a couple of stray horses. This one's a little baby one. A foal, as they call them. This one's a grown up one and you can ride them and stuff. And that's what I'll show you later. And th there's another one of these cute log circles. And if you're wondering what this is, it's one of those... M it's a makeshift tyre swing I had to do with. So you can just have fun on it, I guess. And the last thing I've really got to show you guys is the bull ring slash stadium. Now this, in this involves a little redstone too. Actually, I better turn mobs on because I will need mobs. Put on easy though. And the gate's already down. Now, here is my horse. Its name is Far Away. And I can ride the horse around and do gladiatorial stuff on there. Now, if I just get a lead and a piece of red wool. Now, Minecraft doesn't actually have balls in it, so these two cows are our makeshift balls. They look very ferocious. Now, to bullfight, you've got to just grab the cow, 
and get the red wool and be all like, ha. As you can see, there are a couple of sl slimes in there. Don't worry about it, I just turn mobs on. And you just do random stuff with it. And the final thing in this, oh, as you can see, there's like a zombie over there, is a zombie wave. No, that's a lie. That's this is actually a zombie and skeleton wave. So if I quickly switch to survival, and I press that, then as you can see, it spawn spawns a lot of mobs, and they're already dying off because it's night. Now I can charge around with my horse and start beating these guys up. Making sure I don't hit the bull gut though, because the bull is actually quite friendly. And there are skeletons that are already dying. And yeah, and there's a slime. Better die. So yeah, this is my Minecraft stadium. If I just get off my horse there and quickly switch into creative again. And this is how you get it when. Wait there, just turn mobs off again. Uh when when you wanna spectate the game I couldn't really find a way to incorporate ladders um ways to get up there outside. So bearing in mind while the game isn't going, you gotta go inside, go in the gate and this is the sort of spectating area. And you can just watch happily from here without the fear of getting killed. As you can see, there are quite a few Spanish flags, so I thought, get in the Spanish mood. And that's really all my town is about. I had to miss some things out, because it's a medieval town and those things were a little modern. But other things I've incorporated into each other. And well... Here's a pig. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this Minecraft video. And I hope it'll be good enough Spanish homework, Miss Sexton. So, thank you for watching. This has been Lauren's Spanish homework. And yeah, Dumbledore's seen us off. Bye!